Hello folks and welcome to the Vertigo Tea Party and let's try Metro Redux. It's actually two separate games, Metro 2033 and Metro Last Light. You can buy each game reduxed, if you will, separately, or you can buy them in a bundle. It's developed by 4A, published by Deep Silver. If you buy Metro 2033 Redux by itself, it's $24.99. Same goes for Metro Last Light Redux. If you buy them in a bundle together, it's $49.98. Now they do offer discounts if you own the game. So for example, if you own Metro 2033 and you want to just get the Redux version of that, it's 50% off or 25% on the bundle. Same goes for Last Light, but in reverse. If you own both games, you get 50% off of the bundle. So I'll be doing one video talking about both games. So let's hop right in because we have a lot to cover. So I'm going to pick up from where I left off. And I'm going to kind of talk over the narrative here. And I kind of picked this area because I feel like there's a lot of just chit chat going on before we get to the action. So there'd be a good time to kind of cover what's different, why you should buy Redux, especially why should you buy it if you already own the game. Let's put our gas mask on. Anytime you come to the surface, you have to put your gas mask on. So how does Redux work? And what's the deal with Metro? If you're not familiar with this, these games, the idea is that this is a post post-apocalypse type Russia area and you are Artyom and this is again this is Metro 2033 I'm playing Metro Redux 2033 to be specific and you're basically trying to eke out an existence and as you might imagine something happens you get sent on a mission and it turns out you're a special person oh look here's a key I was actually looking for this key earlier and you'll see why and both games kind of cover the the same protagonist Artyom and you know what happens with him trying to find out what's going on with this existing world how are we going to survive etc etc and there's these dark ones there's the horrible mutated beasts that we gotta look out for hey look there goes one now and we'll ignore him he's just there for this jump scare now this game is pretty creepy uh it does try to go for the not really horror angle but there's a lot of tenseness and there is some pretty tense scary parts where you're in a dark tunnel and you're trying to conserve ammo and all that. So a lot of you probably already aware of that. You're probably already aware of at least the basic understanding of how this game works. By the way, and this is some traps that you find on occasion. So you want to snip the trap so that we can walk over. Obviously, you could have just jumped over as well. But but yeah, it's you're probably familiar with how these games work in general. So what's different? What's different with the Redux? Well, the first game has been redone in the engine that was Metro Last Light was done in. So it looks better and it runs better. But though, quite frankly, Metro 2033 already looked damn good. So we got the key, so we can now open the safe. And let's see what's in here. We got some money bullets. Uh, and actually, we're full on the incendiary grenades. So let's go ahead and head on out. Now, the money system in this game, and again, we're kind of going back to just how Metro works. Is very interesting. The money that you use in this game are basically military grade ammunition. Because military grade ammunition is very hard to find now. It's been a, been about 30 ish years since the great apocalypse, the great time. Basically, when they shot all the missiles and blew all the shit up, basically, and stuff got bad. So, military grade ammo is very hard to find. Now, you can use this ammunition, it does more damage than the regular ammo that you find. But, again, it's basically like shooting money. It's like shooting dollar bills, y'all. So here is post-apocalyptic Moscow. Uh-oh. Something's making noise. Nope. Apparently we don't want to mess with that, so we're going to hide. I'm going to... You sure do. So this game, these games have a variety. Oh, well, let's talk about the Redux part. Let's talk about the Redux. If you buy the Redux, Redux version of the game, a few things. Again, 2033 comes with the, the game is like redone in the new engine. Yeah, I trust that. Oh, fine. Just grab me. We're fine. Oh, thanks. I'll catch you. Just kidding. Enjoy swimming around in that very cold radioactive water. So, and I'm just going to talk over this dialogue mostly well i'll let you listen to this guy just so you can kind of get an idea of the voice acting Don't 
sequence event in the backyard that leads to Dry Station. I'll wait for you in the building. There's a ranger hideout on the upper floor. Make it quick. Don't eat yellow snow. <laughs> I don't think we probably should eat any of the snow, given how this place has been severely radiated. Whoop. We're gonna run away from that. Last time I actually just fought it. So you actually don't have to hide. You can run, uh, just fight it if you'd like. However, uh, now you do have to have a gas mask up here, and if you look on my watch, it has a countdown timer of how much time I have left before my current filter runs out. Now, I like to let it run out as low as possible before swatching, swapping it, because you only have so many filters, and you have to find more. So, again, let's go back to talking about Redux. What's different? What's changed? Why should you care? Metro 23 looks better, uh, but again, to be fair, it always looked good. Hello. Whoa. They rarely take that many shotgun blasts. Let me wipe that blood off my gas mask. Uh, we're probably going to want to change out some things here soon. These guys are usually a little bit more aggressive. I don't know if it's difficulty level wise or what. Now I am playing, well, again, let's talk about the, this is important. All right, so we're going to have to switch out this filter soon. Let's switch it now, actually. We're getting pretty low there. You don't die immediately if your filter runs out, but you do die pretty quickly after that, I believe. So it does include, the Metro Redux version of both games do include the any DLC release for them. I know there was a few pieces of DLC for Metro 23, 2033, I don't know how much for Last Light. And I apologize if I'm trying to talk fast, because like I see, we're, we're, there's a lot to cover. And of course you keep getting distracted by actually murdering things, right? God, rude. So if we can find that key, that would be great. But anyway, you do get all the DLC that comes with it. There are some additional modes. I haven't really messed with the additional modes a lot, especially in Metro 2033, I haven't. Uh, let's go ahead and check out our, pull out our compass. Compass always pulls toward, doesn't point north, it points towards your quest objective. You also have a little lighter that you can, you want to use from time to time. Oh, found some items. It also adds the ability to play on either Spartan mode or survivalist mode. Spartan mode is described as those who mostly like the 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 FPS action, like the FPS action type games. They're not really into the survival type where you're scrounging for ammo. You're always on the brink of death because you can't find enough. You also run into these little trippy sections where something's going on in your head. Or at least you think it's just your head. Probably is just your head. But yeah, you have the you have the Spartan modes. Did we, did we really do anything too bad? Did you just save these people from boring cubicle jobs? I don't know. Seemed like it wasn't so bad. Ooh, hello. So yeah, there is definitely creepy vibes going on through the game. It's supposed to be kind of part survivalist, part horror type game, which I think a lot of games are actually like that, that are, are the survivalist. You're kind of, it's like scary by default, but just also scary because, ooh, I don't want to die. I'm I'm constantly low on ammo, low on health, trying to manage my supplies. So right now I'm actually playing Metro 2033 on survivalist mode. Wait, didn't I see a sit out here? Yeah, it was. All right, so this is just begging for a setup here. No? Oh, he's got a health pack, but I don't need any health packs. So we're actually going to go outside. There's another route you can go. But I'm choosing to go this way because I didn't go this way when I was testing. That was good, right? Mix it up when you're testing. That way, horrible things can happen. Let's go ahead and... Awesome. And I'm sure that didn't drag the attention of anyone. So again, I am playing on the survivalist. Actually, no, I take it back. I'm playing on Spartan mode here. So there's going to be more wild action, etc. I'm also playing on normal difficulty. There's Ranger Mode makes its return. Jesus. I've got like one to wow. I see a break. Okay. Q is to heal yourself quickly. Now you do heal over time. And I've got two shotguns. Don't ask why. I just do. You can carry up to three guns. So I'm okay with the limitation like that, especially when a game that's supposed to be more of a survival horror. How much ammo do I have? Sometimes it's hard to see your watch, which I find to be annoying. Like with the pistol, it's hard to see how much time you have left. 
But uh, yeah, Redux does have the DLC. The first game looks better. They also have went through, they said they've tweaked the AI. It's been so long since I've played 2033. Oh, damn it. Get inside, please. Nope. Ah. I'm tapping E. There's not a lot of quick time events. They, are, uh, they come up on occasion. Usually it's tap E quickly to open this stuck door. It's not like tap, press this button quickly or you're dead automatically. In fact, that's probably the first time I remember seeing one in the middle of combat. But again, it's been a long... Oh, we scrub another filter. We could all use, always use more filters. We have a minute on our current filter. And it does remind you when you're low. Like, the little beeping sound comes up and all that. Now, we can switch guns here. You can kind of see which pistol or which weapon it is. And also, there's modifications that you can use on the weapons as well. Uh, I don't think we really need two shotguns. Um, and it's my one of my problems I have with this is that the yellow portions of the gun are the modifications and A lot of times it's hard to tell what the modification is like this I think this modification I have on this shotgun makes it the aim better this one uh, Tightens the spread I'd much rather have a tightened spread. So we're gonna actually no, I've got I already got a pistol too So get all that noise. Let's go ahead and switch our filter out Didn't think I was gonna miss that I hope but at any rate, um, yeah, and the, the new game modes, like I said, I haven't really messed with. I think they're more like challenges, at least the ones that I played with in, in, in um, ooh, nice, no more fil or more filters. The ones that I played with in last like were like these challenges, like hold off these waves of enemies, etc. It was pretty neat, pretty. Are they talking about me? I don't know. But yeah, the, the one thing I liked about these games, and by the way, I never beat Last Light. I did beat Metro 2033. I think Metro 23 is a great game. And I definitely think it's worth, uh, regardless, picking up. But honestly, if you're going to buy the game, then just buy them in the Redux mode. I don't see why you wouldn't. And another reason I'm putting both of these games together in one, you can also put out lights, because there are still still areas and whatnot, but anyway, hmm, can I get up there? Damn. Defeated by cupboards tipped over on the sides. How did I get in here? I already I got lost here. Wait, how did I get in here? I must have came in. Did I squeeze in here? I must have. Let's see where we're supposed to go. Uh, this way, okay. Nope. The gun. There we go. Oh God. Ah, see, it's all been a bad dream. We're fine. Why is the scary man with the gas mask pointing the shotgun at us? Don't mind him. Whoa! There's one of those weird, creepy black beings again. Oh, our little radiation meter is going off. Wanted to get close on him since he wasn't attacking that much. Sometimes those guys can be do kind of docile, I've noticed. Like, they let me get right up on them. We're full on those ammo, uh, full on ammo, etc. I am keeping up. I am on Spartan mode, of course, right now, and on normal difficulty. So don't be surprised if I'm getting a lot of ammunition, ammunition, especially considering I've been saying, oh, this is kind of a survival horror game. They do give you that option to just, if you want to run and gun it more, then that option is there, especially if you play on normal. Which, yeah, I really did enjoy Metro 2033 quite a lot. More filters, up to 18 minutes on their filters. And there are... This is, you know, again, I'm obviously talking. I've done this before. So I'm not really, you know, very creeped out. But on survivalist mode, and especially on harder difficulties, it can be very tight. Speaking of harder difficulties... This shot, or the pistol is pretty nice, by the way. It's only killing those, I think, because they're kind of on lookout. Obviously, not dying as quickly. What was that? And it does take quite a while to reload. So very frequently, I have... I will switch guns in the middle of combat instead of waiting for a reload. Yeah, the AI is a little wonky. Like a lot of time, and again, maybe it's because I want a normal, easier difficulty. 
But I have noticed a few times, these guys in particular, sometimes, like, they seem to lose me easily. And then I can just kind of duck away and then shoot them in the back. I'm going to hold on swapping for just a little bit. But yeah, so far it's been pretty easy up to this point. Again, keeping in mind I'm on normal. And I'm playing on Spartan, so it's more... Spartan is just kind of like an easier mode as well, I think. It's not just a different mode, let's be honest. It's probably going to be easier overall. All right, let's go ahead and swap our filter out. Ooh, easy, easy. Not jump in the radiated water. We're going to just head on to our quest objective here. Probably not going to play a whole lot more here. But yeah, the, supposedly they have improved the AI. They've redone the voice acting. Or not, I don't think they've done it all. But I think maybe the weak parts, I'm not sure. Again, I haven't played in quite a while. But I really like the aspect of running around, trying to scrounge up all the ammo that we can. Obviously, again, right now I don't really need to. I just kind of do it out of habit. Where are we going? Oh, going the complete opposite way, of course. Oops. But yeah, there are definitely creepy parts where you're trying to sneak around enemies and what have you. Uh, especially these monsters that you're trying to avoid. But I think the game also does a good job of having... Like, spreading out what you're doing. Sometimes you're going through and you're just blowing enemies away, both monsters and humans. Other times you're sneaking around humans and hiding and either avoiding them entirely or silently taking them out. Other times you're just trying to avoid some of these monsters entirely because they're too tough to try to kill with bullets. I, I especially 2033, I think did a really good job of, of mixing up the gameplay where like each chapter I was doing something a little different. Nothing drastically different, but again, it was mixing up. It's not just stealth gameplay. It's not just run and gun. Sometimes you get to just go all out and murder the enemies. You just keep looking over there. Guy's just hanging out. No, I think he's dead. It's hard to... Th nope. Nope. That was one of the dark ones, as they're called in this game. Alright, so this guy's kind of in our way. We're gonna either need to wait for him to move. Just go around them, maybe. I think that's what we're supposed to do. Wow, the door is iced closed. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. Sneak on up here. But yeah, the stealth aspects of this game I really like. Obviously, they're not overly in depth. Here's a tripwire. Don't wanna. Get hit by that. They're obviously not overly in depth. It's very basic. They either like see you or they don't. And the AI does tend to have a tendency of once they spot you, they know where you are. So there's that. If you're looking for a deep <laughs> stealth experience, this game is not it. But I think if you go in understanding that it's supposed to be, you know, a normally a surviving shooting type game. Yeah, it's it, they're fun. It's fun to sneak around, especially when you're fighting enemy. Uh, enemy humans. To me, I find it very fun to sneak around and take them out. You can also swap your gas mask. Good luck. But yeah, I very much enjoy, like I say, I think I've said it a few times, but Metro 23 I really liked. And we're probably going to play this too much longer. And again, I don't want you to get the impression, and the reason I'm kind of harping on this is I don't want you to get the impression this is the whole game, where you're just running around, barely fighting anything, you're just avoiding like a few, like one big enemy, and otherwise you're not really doing much actual fighting. It's It varies quite a bit. And it varies on what you're fighting. And I think this game avoided what certain games like oh I don't know aliens colonial marine did where you're seems like you're just fighting humans I think the mix feels good I think it's it feels like a good mix of fighting monsters and fighting the real monsters which is human beings Let's go down here look out for radiation I don't know how you look out for radiation but and the game by the way needs to be mentioned that it looks fantastic oh great completely unnecessary waste of bullets. But again, I'm on Spartan mode and I've got so much ammo it doesn't matter. There, 
I picked up some military grade ammo, which again can be used for buying and selling. You can upgrade weapons, and you can make you have to make choices. Like sometimes, for example, you have to say, "Okay, I can replace the sight." Well, I can either get a nice long range sight, or I can get a night vision sight. Things like that, or a stock, uh, or a barrel, for example, with a shotgun. You can either make it the bullets more compact, so there's less of a spread, so it becomes a better mid range weapon, or you can add a silencer, which I don't know how often you're really going to use a silenced. Try to avoid not walking in that. Wait, trying to avoid not walking in that? I mean, avoid walking in it. And there's a lot of little hidden areas like this to find. And again, with especially if you play in a harder difficulty, then you're going to want to probably do as much exploring as possible. I've never played on the harder difficulties. I think I actually, you know what, I take that back. I think with Metro 2033, I think I played on the, the hardcore difficulty, I believe. But there's also Ranger mode. Ranger mode hides the interface. There is no interface. It's also interesting because, the, if I remember correctly, I think Ranger mode also makes it so that you, you die a lot faster, but enemies tend to die a lot faster as well. Get out of here. Damn hooligans. Oh, Jesus. All right, let's go. Let's finish this one courtyard left, because I presume we'll probably be attacked. But yeah, I really like I say, I really like Metro Last Light. I still haven't beat Metro La or uh, Metro 2033 rather. And Last Light, what I've played, I've really enjoyed. But we'll of course talk about that more once I'm actually playing 20 or uh, Last Light. And they've also removed, I guess, and again, it's been a long time, so I don't really remember. Especially because my memory is awful. Oh, we're going this way. Apparently there was a lot of loading screen transitions. Oop. Wait, fall back this way. Oop. Oh god. Wait, he said wanted me to take right? Let's watch our back. Back up. And these guys, some of these take a lot of hits. I'm wondering if that's a Spartan mode thing. Maybe things have more hit points. But I was going to say with the Ranger mode, I like the idea of Ranger mode and the enemies take more hits, but they also, or now they take less hits, but you also take less hits. It makes it a little bit more realistic. And I realize I'm fighting bizarre werewolf monkey type creatures. So, you know, realism, but. Switch guns instead of waiting for reload. I don't think he can die. I don't think I've ever had him die. But let's not risk it. Ah, uh, hell. Yeah, this oddly bolt brought his attention on. Oop, let's run away. Oh, that's not good. Oh, there's a lot of these. Oh shit! Swap your <laughs> swap your filter. Swap your filter now. Swap it. Swap it. There we go. Where, where are we going? Where are we going? Wait, where's the map? Thank you. Thanks for covering me back. Covering my back there. So yes, there are more <laughs> action-y type scenes. And I think that might be the end of that level. That section. That chapter. Chapters are relatively short, so yeah, you'll get through chapters relatively quick. But uh, apparently, they, there was used to be loading zone issues, but they've removed that as as well. So anyway, that's going to be it for Metro 2033 Redux. If you'll bear with me, I'm going to switch on over to Metro Last Light Redux. All right, and here we are with Metro 2030 or Metro Last Light Redux. So again, I'm going to kind of just talk over the dialogue here and, and skip right into it. Now, I chose this section because it's more of a stealth section and it's against enemy, like, humans. Now, one important thing to keep in mind here, a lot of people out there maybe don't like stealth aspects. They don't want to deal with the stealth aspect. They just want to, like, wreck stuff, right? So, 
you can do that if you'd like. Now I can just come in here and I can blow these guys away if I wanted to. But I'm going to do it a little bit stealthier. And, you know, again, we'll show a little bit more later on because it might not be so stealthy if I screw it up. But uh, we'll see. We're going to wait until this guy goes away. Now, if you also look at the bottom on your watch, you have like, like a blue indicator. This indicates how in in hiding you are. So we're going to wait for this guy to go away. Now, what's different about Metro Last Light Redux? Well, to be honest, there's not a whole lot that I'm aware of that's different. They use the same engine. Well, it's theoretically stealthy. Not quite sure why he didn't... Uh, That didn't go as smoothly as I had hoped, but, uh, yeah, I, mean, I think I was a little too far away when I tried to stab him, and that made him aware of my trying to stab him. Now, this, for what it's worth, whoops, <laughs> I accidentally threw a knife. Sometimes, for whatever reason, my brain goes, C is crouch instead of control. Now, in Metro Last Light, I decided to play in survivalist mode. Now, I'm still only on normal difficulty. But I am on survivalist difficulty. Now, again, keeping in mind I'm on normal, I found the game very easy so far. I have not had any problems with ammo or anything up until this point. As you can see, several times when I went to loot things, that there, I guess that I was full. So I've got a lot of a lot of items. Considering this is survival, that seems a little bit silly. However, again, keep in mind we're on normal difficulty here. So that very well could have something to do with it. We're also not playing in ranger mode or any of that. So you'll notice I picked up a key. Red keys are marked as like with little red slashes. I hate that with steam. Thank you. And there was also the staircase here. Hmm. I'm gonna jump up here. See what we can find. I wonder if there was something we can open with the key. No, probably not. Ah, we'll look the safe. Didn't see that coming. Let's go ahead and pick up more stuff. Now I do tend to look around a lot and even who's watched my let's plays knows that i tend to be or i try to be very thorough so that could be part of the reason why i'm full on ammo which i think that's one of the rewards if you will for being thorough is especially when a game where ammo is scarce you have a little less issue dealing with it but i think it's been a little bit overly easy but again keep in mind normal difficulty even on survivalists there's you know we can always crank that difficulty up if we cho so choose to do so Choose to go ranger mode or hardcore difficulty. Because you can increase the difficulty without going ranger mode, by the way. So here's all these guys. Now, again, I could run out there and start blowing them away. Now, one of the negatives to just blowing everyone away is that they can call reinforcements. So you have to kill more people, which means less ammo for you unless you take them out efficiently. So we turn the lights out. Now, you can also shoot lights out, but that makes them a bit suspicious. So we want to... I'm going to move away from that. Now, I have items as well. We're going to stab this guy. Now, you can also knock people out instead of killing them. Honestly, I don't know what the point is. Uh, you can't move bodies or anything. As far as I can tell, there's no system that measures how many people you've killed and you get bad karma for it or you just feel bad. So I just do a knife at him. Again, we do have items. We've got knives, grenades. I don't know what that is at the bottom. We also have incendiary grenades, I guess is what they would be called. Again, obviously we want to loot as much as we possibly can. Again, we can swap weapons here if we so chose. Now, you can notice I have a night vision scope on this pistol. This is an upgrade I paid for. I also have this gun. Now, this is an interesting gun. There's some guns that you have to like pump up and air it out. No, you don't want to air it out because it does less damage. And you can kind of see the little meter twitching there. That means it's maxed out. I've pumped it as much as I can. Now, normally, if you're up in the red zone, it does a lot more damage, but over time, in a short amount of time, it'll actually drop back down to the yellow zone. But I bought an upgrade to make it stick up at stay to the top. Now, against humans, it doesn't matter that much, especially if you're doing headshots. You're going to take them out quickly anyway. But, you know, it's nice to have, especially against various monsters. So we're gonna actually gonna switch the the pistol, which has a silencer on it. That I also have this gun has it. No, actually no. Thought I had a silencer on that gun. 
we're going to have to be watch be careful. Again, I'm going to try to take as many guys out stealthily as I can. And then if and when things go bad, then we'll just take them out. So you have three dudes over there. Now, we, of course, we also don't have to murder everyone. Blow that out. They don't really seem to notice when lights get put out. So again, keep in mind, simple stealth system. Nothing in-depth. Nothing overly crazy. Obviously, when they put the lights out, they probably shouldn't have investigated that. And sometimes they do. Sometimes they'll send somebody to check it out and turn the lights back on. But they don't always do that. So here, I am actually don't recall how I did this before. There's a lot of dudes around here. And we, some of them also have lights on their heads. So this can make things more difficult. I can't really take him out. And I don't want to spend a lot of time doing this, just but I just want to at least show you a rough idea of the stealth system. So let's go around this other side. There's like five or six guys over there. It'd be hard to take them out quickly without them alerting their friends. So I'm going to sneak over here. I don't like that light in my eyes. And again, especially if for those of you who might have jumped ahead. Apparently it's blocked off. I can't get up there. For those of you who might have jumped ahead to this game, to Last Light as opposed to the Metro 2033, games, the game does look phenomenal. Now, I don't like this here. It kind of blocks this off. You also can't grab ledges and whatnot in this game, which is unfortunate. All right, so this guy's going over here to the right. So I could probably take him out. I'm going to just actually pop in here. He might be going to turn the lights back on. We can't have that. What? <laughs> what? Huh? Some of the things they say during that is kind of funny, actually. Cal, for his helmet spotlight. Where is this guy going? That guy's checking out that box. <laughs> now, again, with it being a more stealth light type of game, as soon as they hear something, all automatically, often they assume, oh, it's it's the enemy, sound the alarms. It's like he just heard like something hit the stone to the side and immediately was like, oh, alarm. Gonna take out a few of these guys with a pistol. Now see, it does seem like they're having a little bit of trouble finding me. Take a few of these guys out. Now these guys are pretty nasty, the ones with the um, the armor, as you might imagine. They're a little bit tougher to, to kill. Gonna pick some weapons up here. Let's hit control. Some days, man, some days my brain just decides that C is crouch. All right, let's go ahead and switch out to grenades because these guys are not going to be pleasant to deal with. Here we go. Have fun with that. Oh, that's unfortunate. Head's exposed. Hit, hit by grenade, helmet falls off. So yeah, it wasn't very stealthy there. I probably should have just, oh god, no. Again, I warned you. This pistol's actually pretty damn good. It's very accurate. I'm just go ahead and try to, just want to mix it up a bit and use the rifle with this night vision scope. Ooh, I think I got his helmet off. No, he died. That's very weird. Now this gun, this is, again, this is the pump gun where you have to pump it up. And air it out. Sorry, every time I hear pump it up, I automatically want to say, and air it out. There we go. Now, it does lose a little bit. Even with that modification, it does lose a little bit of power as you use it more, which, you know, makes sense. You don't get to pump it and then never pump it again. Though ammo for this gun can be quite difficult to find. I usually just end up purchasing it. Where are you at? Now both, and I think I might have mentioned this before, and I don't, again, I don't know how much DLC was for this game, but both Redux versions have all the DLC automatically. No, don't do that. Your comrade never liked you anyway. It's just the engineer guy. Surprise. There are also destructible environments. Like, I've seen, like, people hiding behind things, and I've been able to shoot it and destroy it. Wait, it's, uh, switch. Switch to the incinerator grenade, just for fun. What's over here? Let's hit this guy. Okay, that's how that works. 
I actually don't think I've ever used one of those. Uh, uh. Poking his head out. That guy just sitting there wetting himself like a sim. See, as you can see there, the environment is getting destroyed a little bit there, and eventually it'll be destroyed. And I have actually did use that to my advantage once. The guy just would not come out behind a place, so I just kept shooting it until I got a hole in it and popped him in the head. Damn you. And by you, I mean my aiming. Again, the AI, not super fantastic sometimes. See, he knows where I was that time for sure, and he was still just kind of sitting there. Now, you can knock the these guys out. Engineer here. Need sentry here. Oh, God. So let's knock these guys out. I'm not a total monster. But again, I don't know if there's a, a point. Like, I don't think they make more noise when you kill them. But again, you know, if you don't want to be a jerk, you just knock them out. Where am I supposed to go here? We'll do a little bit more. And maybe try to be a little bit more stealthier. I didn't do a very good job there. But, you know, overall, again, since we're kind of drawing to a close here. Oh, God! Just like I planned. They never saw that coming. What's funny is when I was playing this the other day, I never hit C to crouch. And then today, it's just decided that, hey... You're you're gonna you're gonna do that a lot today. Whoop! Hey hey, that wasn't me. That was not me this time. That was not me. That was absolutely not me. So whenever they sound that alarm, you're gonna have to deal with more enemies. So I. <laughs> what? Oh shit! So is that fire causing smoke? If so, that's pretty awesome actually. Oh no, they okay. Let's put our gas mask on. Let's put our gas mask on. Yeah, I wasn't thinking about that. Ooh. As you can see, the armor. Please throw. Nope. There you go. Now that time I did do it on purpose. Use our med kit to heal ourselves up quickly. How can you even see me, you silly goose? Yeah, you are. And again, keep it in mind, this is on survival mode on normal. So if you want more challenge, and if you're ex more experienced with FPS type games, I would definitely suggest maybe going the route of more... Uh, oh god, this is... It's... Whoop. <laughs> you doing alright? Don't think so. So yeah, if you're more experienced with FPS type games, I would definitely strongly advise you to at least play on the hardcore mode, because I think it's like normal hardcore, ranger, and then ranger hardcore. Ranger hardcore, basically ranger, again, I think, takes out the UI, and it also makes you and enemies die faster, but then hardcore, I think, makes it so that there's even less ammo, less resources, and what have you. So, anyway, I'll go ahead and end it here. My overall thoughts, <laughs> I'm trying to do a wrap up here. Thank you very much, gentlemen. There you go. Have that. Have fun with that. Oh! He might not make it. His head's kind of stuck in there. So again, there's still some AI issues, obviously, that uh, are, are causing problems. Those enemies are just kind of standing there staring at the wall for a while. So overall, what do I think? I guess the big question... Is it still smoky in here or something? Alright, put the gas mask on. You know what? This, we'll just close it out of here. So, what do I think? The big question, of course, is if I own one or both games, should I buy the Redux version? If you very much enjoyed the first time, maybe. Uh, and I guess, oh, real quick, I guess I'll show you one of the, the side things that you can do. Or at least show you a list of them. Like, should you buy it? I, if you really liked them, yes. But I think maybe it's it would not be a bad idea. So we're going to switch to the new missions. Again, you can see all kinds of different variations here. Uh, infiltrate a Reich owned base. I haven't done this. Actually, we'll do the Heavy Squad because I have done that one. But there's quite a few here. Different variations of missions that you can do. Now uh, you can also, again, choose Survival or Spartan here. We're going to just choose a Spartan just because I want to show it off real fast. Again, you have normal, hardcore, 
Uh, your resources, ammo and resources are hard to come by. Ranger, no HUD or UI. Ranger Hardcore combines Ranger and Hardcore for the true badasses. So, if you already own them, if you really enjoyed the game and you're like, oh, I'm going to play through Metro again. Yeah, go for it. Is it... I have a hard time, again, I haven't played Metro 2033 in a long time. So it's hard to say, oh yeah, it's definitely worth worth the, the price to go ahead and upgrade. I could say probably not. Even at 50% off, it seems like it probably wouldn't be worth it. Again, unless you just want to play through it again. Maybe you played through on normal the first time, and maybe now you want to try it on hardcore or ranger or something like that. So maybe that's, you know, maybe you want to go that route. I mean, this is a good time to do it with enhanced graphics and enhanced other stuff. Otherwise, maybe wait for a sale. Now, the other question. Well, I don't own either of the games, or I don't own, I you know, maybe I played this game, but I didn't play the other one. Should I buy the game? Should I just buy them, buy the Redux package? How should I do that? If you haven't played the games, if you don't own either one, I think it's a no-brainer to buy the pack. Uh, I think, again, I haven't played Last Light, or I haven't finished Last Light, but what I did play of it, man, this is really loud. Hopefully I'm not screaming. If you haven't played them, I think it's a no-brainer. I love, I really, really, really like 2033. So far, I've really liked Last Light a lot as well. So I think it's, again, no-brainer. You get two great games for like 50 bucks or whatever it is. Yeah, absolutely. These guys are... A little, a little harder than last time, even on Spartan. Well, maybe it's because they take more bullets. I'm on Spartan. But yeah, basically the idea here is you're going to have to fight off various waves of enemies. And it's not just these guys running forward. Sometimes there's snipers in the background. Uh, there's another gun you can pick up if you want to try using the gun. Uh, I got to another phase where there was a bunch of guys with shields. They were all blocking like one seriously badass guy that could kill you very quickly. But uh, there's also a side over there that's attack that's guarding themselves. But all right, so now we have snipers. Let's switch to this gun. Uh, switch to this gun if it'll let me. There we go. Now you can still kill the snipers with that chain gun, but as you might imagine, not as efficient, oddly enough. All right, so let's find the snipers. The snipers have the little green beam of light. Where are you at? So he's basically telling you about which, you know, how to decide which gun to use and all that. I don't know why I reloaded so quickly. But yeah, again, if you've not played them, absolute no-brainer. I think these are great games. If you already own them, unless, like, you're looking for an excuse to go and play through it on the harder difficulties, like survivalist or ranger mode or whatever, maybe wait for a sale. I don't know if they really added enough to say, you know, buy it full... Well, I guess not even full price because you did get a discount, but... You know, it's not like it's going to be a whole new experience, most likely. Again, unless you played on an easier difficulty. So anyway, I'm just kind of repeating myself at this point. So anyway, I'll go ahead and stop it here. But basically, that's just, you know, they keep attacking you with various waves of different types of enemies. So, you know, there's that. They've added a little bit with that. Again, the DLC is all included with the, the Redux. But uh, at this point, again, I'm just kind of rambling. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments below. Follow me on Twitter if you'd like to see more videos like this where I'm covering a lot of different games, many of which you might not have heard of. Make sure to follow. Thank you, for, thank you again for watching. I'll see you next time.